Good morning, folks. You're watching 211 angstroms on our star, and it's the southern edge of the coronal hole we're seeing cannibalized by our sun. The pink encroaches northward into the coronal hole, and what if I told you it was triggered by something happening more than a million kilometers away? Let's start over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star very calm, apart from the shrinking coronal hole, at least on the Earth-facing side of the sun. But just over the northeastern limb on the far side, one of the plasma filaments we've seen dancing into view lifted up and snapped away. It was not a tremendous eruption, but the manner in which it released left a considerable amount of solar plasma falling back or trapped within the coronal magnetic field structure, and that can trigger movement all the way across the sun. It'll take a careful eye, but the coronal hole begins morphing as the filament lifts, and as it snaps, the coronal hole begins receding quickly. Taking a quick peek on the far side via Stereo A allows us to pinpoint numerous bright active regions. It'll be interesting to see how those behave coming around into view in the coming days. And as quiet as the Earth-facing half of the sun has been, it has been just as quiet in the solar wind here at Earth. Those jolts in blue, the magnetic character of the solar wind, is all that's keeping the ones on the KP chart. This is an enduring cosmic ray event, and we're solidly in the risk zone for all cardiac patients, neurological and psychological condition flare-ups, cognitive diminution, and emotional instability are things of which we are all at risk today. When the solar wind arrives from this coronal hole, we do expect that alert to finally end. Until then, we've been waiting for a solid coronal hole to begin an earthquake uptick and end the weeks of below average shaking. We've got a six-pointer in the Solomon Islands that hit yesterday, one of our yellow alert zones on watch for 5.9 to 6.4. We've had interesting blood echoes in Japan, South America, and Papua New Guinea overnight. Top stories today begin with a look at the TRAPPIST-1 system from the perspective of climate modeling. Now there may be some issue with trying to plug a failing temperature model on Earth into an exoplanet, but let's just run with it for now. Not too shocking that they're eyeing planet E as their habitable choice, maybe for humans, but I'd argue that the best place to look for any life would be under the ice of H, where liquid water likely exists, like on Jupiter and Saturn's moons and on Pluto, and it is far enough away from the radiation belts of the host star that it wouldn't scare me as much. Just a mini look into a discussion sweeping planet hunters. Top weather news includes a hailstorm in India followed by a blizzard. It has become deadly. This region of the world is unprepared for this level of storm in March or any month for that matter. And the cold in that part of the world is actually outshining the heat in parts of the U.S., at least the heat you were enjoying in the eastern part of the country until this latest cold wave. Today there are just minor watches across the states until we hit the overnight hours in California when another rainmaker will slam into the coast. When it gets into the center of the country, it's tornado time once more. Folks, for the summary of hundreds of solar-forcing papers in textbook style but written for the layman, and for those who don't need a copy in their hands, at otf.cells.com, the PDF of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun is only $4. Steep discount if you agree not to kill the trees for the book. Those cosmic ray health warnings, earthquake alert maps, and the only way I can get a hold of you in a major emergency of global proportions is the Disaster Prediction app, available for both Apple and Android. New Deeper Look episode for website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Coming up here, we've got pressure and radar forecasts, some null school weather, and shots of our star to close. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.